Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making some cell phone stands and we're going to be using resin foils again. So let's jump in and get started. Here are my molds. I picked them up off Amazon. I'll link them down below if you guys want to get them as well. I'm just filling up the mold with some clear, not too much. I was just putting in enough so the bottom of the mold was covered with clear. And this is the floral epoxy from the epoxy resin store. It's super crystal clear with no bubbles. So I like to use this for layers that I'm using resin foils in um, because it's really bubbleless. It's a three to one ratio epoxy and um, it does set up a little bit slower. So if you guys do end up purchasing some to try it, um, just keep that in mind. It reminds me a lot of liquid diamonds, but it's an even thinner viscosity than liquid diamonds. Um, if you guys have ever used liquid diamonds before, you know that it's like water. So I'm just smoothing out that clear layer, making sure that every spot of the mold has a little bit of clear resin. And then we're gonna go in and add our foils. And I did mix up my resin off camera. If you're new to resin and you wanna see a tutorial showing step-by-step -step how to mix your resin, I will link my Milky Way coaster tutorial down below in the description box. Be sure to go check it out. I show you step-by-step -step how to mix your resin and your pigments. So I took my foil here. This is an image printed on craft plastic. You can buy these off Etsy and they do come on a full sheet and you do have to cut out the image that you wanna use. So I just cut out this moon and placed it face, you know, shiny side down because I want the shiny iridescent side to show after we do mold this. And I just push it down with my fingers. And now I'm going in with a silicone paintbrush and just making sure that it's 100% pushed down. And if there's air bubbles trapped under this foil, you'll be able to see it. So just keep pushing it down until that air bubble releases and comes off to the side and that's it i'm going to spray it with some 91 percent isopropyl alcohol because when you do lay down the foils you are going to have some bubbles kind of just pop off to the side and um, that 91 percent isopropyl alcohol pops those i let these dry for 48 hours um, because like i said the floral epoxy does take longer to set up so now i'm going in with some black metallic glitter and some purple glitter and I'm just gonna fill the molds up the rest of the way. Super simple and easy. I wanted to pour the black over the foil section because I really wanted that iridescent to pop and I knew that it was gonna do that um, with the black glitter. Um, I felt like it might kind of get lost with the purple glitter. So I wanted to pour the black glitter where the foil was. And then I'm just adding purple glitter and black glitter, kind of trying to switch it up in where I lay the glitters down. And on this one, oh my gosh, you guys, I overfilled this one. I don't know what I was doing. I was just not paying attention, but I'm gonna show you how to fix that in just a second. And off to the right here are the bases of the cell phone stands. I'm filling those up as well. I didn't add any clear to this to these pieces, just filling them up with the glitter. And this glitter layer, I'm using the Total Boat High Performance Epoxy. I'll link it down below as well, along with my coupon code. So if you do overfill your molds, no worries. I just take one of these little spatula tools, you can get these off Amazon, and I just kind of scrape off the excess. And this is why I like to work over wax paper. You can just scrape it right off, wipe it on your paper, and then what I'll do is scoop this all up and put it into a coaster mold. Um, so that way it's not wasted and you can still use the product that you overfilled your molds with. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna spray these guys with some 91% isopropyl alcohol to pop the bubbles. And here we are 24 hours later, ready to demold it. The Total Boat High Performance Epoxy sets up in 24 hours. That one is a two to one ratio resin. It's a lot thinner than the tabletop epoxy. So I like to use it for projects like this. But here's how it turned out. I absolutely love these foils. They're so fun and easy to use. It's a great way to kind of just jazz up your pieces. I mean, these would have been pretty with just glitter, um, but I did want to add these foils and you can get them off Etsy. Um, the seller that I purchased these foils from, I'll link them down below if you guys want to check them out, but I did have a problem with the black foils that I purchased. Um, so don't buy the black ones. The iridescent and holographic 
gold foils that I purchased from this seller worked out fine, but the black ones did not. So um, just keep that in mind if you guys do purchase from this seller, but I'll link their site down below in the description box if you want to go check it out. And then I just demolded the bottom piece. It slides right back in the backside. And I have had a few people tell me that when they use this mold, their piece turns out bendy. I haven't really had that problem. Um, I did have that happen once, and that was because I used alcohol inks in this mold. Um, I think the mold is too thin to withstand alcohol inks. Um, so if you've had that problem, let me know and we can try to troubleshoot it in the comments. I know it does depend on what brand of resin you're using as well. Um, but like for these, I mean, I've had these sitting in my garage for like two weeks now and they're not bendy at all. Um, so it just depends. Maybe if you add too much colorant or too much glitter, maybe they'll end up bendy. Or if you're not using the right resin, some resins are not meant to be casted. They're more meant for coating applications, for coating artwork. So if you've had that problem, let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave me a like, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and go check out a few more of my other videos. That would really help me out a lot. And as always, I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are all doing great and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye guys.